the fastest. Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. For many decades, Marvel Comics has captivated audiences with its rich and expansive universe filled with mind-thwarting superheroes, absolutely crazy supervillains, and extraordinary adventures. Pertaining to that, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has gained tremendous popularity on the big screen, but it's important not to overlook the incredible world of Marvel animated series that sometimes gets lost from the hype. With the rise of streaming platforms, Marvel has embraced serialized storytelling and darker themes, appealing to both dedicated comic book fans and newcomers alike. From the early days of Saturday morning cartoons to the modern streaming era, Marvel has brought its iconic characters to life through a diverse range of animated shows. In this comprehensive exploration, we delve into every Marvel animated series that has beautifully documented the rich history and enduring legacy of these beloved characters, be it hyped-up shows or the underrated ones. Nonetheless, each one has left an indelible mark on pop culture, cementing Marvel's status as a powerhouse in both the animated and live-action realms. Whether you grew up watching classic animated adventures or discovered them later, this journey will definitely bring back some fond memories. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. X-Men The Animated Series 1992. X-Men The Animated Series debuted as part of Fox's Fox Kids Saturday morning lineup, captivating young minds in a sea of other cartoons and live-action programming. Serving as Marvel Comics' second attempt at an animated X-Men program, it quickly gained immense popularity, thanks in part to its dynamic storytelling and visually striking animation style. The show mainly centered around the X-Men, a team of mutant superheroes led by Professor X, as they faced various challenges and adversaries. The core lineup consisted of iconic characters like Cyclops, Wolverine, Rogue, Storm, Beast, Gambit, Jubilee, Jean Grey, and Professor X. With the addition of the original character named Morph, who was inspired by a character named Changeling from the previous X-Men series. Inspired by the early 1990s X-Men comics drawn by Jim Lee, the series successfully translated their look and dynamic chemistry onto the small screen. One of the reasons for the show's enduring popularity was its willingness to tackle social issues, demonstrating a depth beyond mere superhero action. X-Men explored themes of divorce, religion, the Holocaust, and the AIDS epidemic allowing young viewers to engage with complex topics in a sensitive manner. It also cleverly satirized television itself in episodes like Mojo Vision and Long Shot, showcasing the series' self-awareness and ability to entertain children and adults alike. Throughout its five-season run, the X-Men featured in a crossover arc with other Marvel animated series, most notably with Spider-Man, when he was being consumed by his progressing mutation and needed the X-Men to help him deter it further expanding the interconnected universe of these beloved characters. The show's compelling storylines, ranging from mutant persecution and human mutant conflict to cosmic forces like the Phoenix, further enthralled its views and solidified its place in the Marvel multiverse. Spider-Man The Animated Series 1994. Spider-Man The Animated Series gained immense popularity during its run due to its engaging storytelling, faithful adaptation of comic book storylines, and its exploration of Peter Parker's struggles as a superhero and as an ordinary person. Airing from November 19th, 1994 to January 31st, 1998, the series consisted of five seasons and a total of 65 episodes, quickly becoming a fan favorite. Here we see the life of Peter Parker, a student from Empire State University who tries to work out his responsibility as Spider-Man and manage his personal life. Peter also works through his affairs with Mary Jane Watson and Felicia Hardy, excelling academically under Dr. Kurt Connor's guidance and taking care of his Aunt May by working as a photojournalist for the Daily Bugle. However, his alter ego becomes a target for J. Jonah Jameson, the Bugle's publisher, who seeks to discredit Spider-Man through negative press. As Spider-Man, Peter faces a plethora of supervillains who threaten the safety of New York City, from masterminds like the Hobgoblin and the Kingpin to scientific mistakes like the Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus. Spider-Man confronts a wide array of adversaries. Additionally, the alien symbiotes Carnage and Venom pose a significant threat to both Peter's personal life and his superhero identity. Throughout the series, Spider-Man often receives assistance from fellow superheroes, including the Punisher, the X-Men, Blade, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, The Fantastic Four, and Captain America. The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes 
2010. In general, the Avengers represent a diverse range of powers and personalities coming together to protect the world from threats. Their individual story arcs and interactions showcase their growth, struggles, and dedication to the greater good. But with a blend of action, humor, and compelling storytelling, the Avengers, Earth's mightiest heroes, captured the essence of the beloved superhero team, solidifying its place among popular animated shows of its time. Initially debuting as a micro-series before expanding into a full-fledged show, the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes quickly gain popularity among audiences. The series revolves around a team of superheroes who unite to form the Avengers, consisting of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Ant-Man, Wasp, Black Panther, and Hawkeye. As Earth's Mightiest Heroes, they face off against formidable supervillains, including Baron Zemo, the leader, Kang the Conqueror, and Ultron, as well as the criminal organizations Hydra and AIM. The overarching threat is revealed to be Loki, who manipulates events right from the beginning to assemble the Masters of Evil with the goal of conquering Earth. Then, in the second season, the Avengers encounter new enemies such as Doctor Doom, Thunderbolt Ross, and the Red Skull, while also confronting alien threats like the Skrulls, the Kree, and Galactus. The ongoing storyline hints at the looming danger of Surtur, as he gathers strength to oppose the Avengers in preparation for Ragnarok. The show's popularity can be attributed to its faithful adaptation of iconic Avengers storylines by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, combining elements from various eras of the comics run, as well as drawing inspiration from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, appealing to both longtime fans and newcomers to the Avengers world. What If 2021 What If really stands out as an animated anthology series created by AC Bradley for Disney+. Plus. As the first animated series produced by Marvel Studios Animation, it explores alternate timelines within the multiverse, presenting intriguing scenarios based on the Marvel Comics series of the same name. The series delves into pivotal moments from the MCU films and poses the question, what if? These alternate timelines showcase how events would unfold if key moments in the films occurred differently. The narratives are narrated by none other than the enigmatic Watcher, voiced by Jeffrey Wright, who observes the various mind-thwarting outcomes across the multiverse. What if? Benefits from the participation of notable MCU film actors reprising their roles through voice acting and, of course, its cel-shaded animation style. The first season premiered in August 2021, with each episode presenting a distinct alternate timeline. Season 1 reimagines major events, like Peggy Carter becoming the first super soldier. Even Chadwick Boseman lends his voice as T'Challa, Black Panther, and it was one of his few lost works before his untimely demise. In Season 2, The Watcher gathered the Guardians of the Multiverse and embarked on exciting new adventures in the expanding multiverse. With its imaginative storytelling and iconic voices, What If offers fresh perspectives on familiar characters and continues to captivate audiences in the Marvel Universe. With the third season in development, the characters in What If serve the purpose of exploring the infinite possibilities within the multiverse, allowing viewers to see beloved characters in new and unexpected roles. The show embraces the creative freedom offered by the concept of alternate timelines, adding an exciting layer to the expanding MCU narrative. Iron Man 1994. Iron Man follows the adventures of Tony Stark, the brilliant industrialist and inventor who becomes the armored superhero known as Iron Man. In the first season, Iron Man, alongside his team called Forceworks, battles the evil forces of the Mandarin and his crew of villains, aiming to steal Stark's technology and Iron Man's armor. The season primarily features self-contained episodes with little character development, but the second season takes a different approach, introducing longer story arcs and a linking narrative. Tony Stark's deteriorating health becomes a central plot point, requiring him to periodically recharge his body battery to stay alive. The storylines explore themes of duplicity, consequence, and phobias. The Mandarin's power diminishes, and Forceworks disbands, leading to conflicts and personal journeys for the characters. Iron Man's ability to change armors instantly is showcased, but its prolonged use puts his life at risk. During this time, Iron Man crossed over with the Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man animated series, further expanding the interconnected Marvel animated universe. These shows were popular due to their faithful adaptations of beloved comic book characters, action-packed storytelling, and vibrant animation. Iron Man, as the main character, served as a symbol of heroism, utilizing his technology, intelligence, and resolve to protect the world from villains. The supporting characters, such as Forceworks members and recurring villains like the Mandarin, provide additional depth and challenges for Iron Man to overcome.
Fantastic Four, the animated series, 1994. The Fantastic Four, including Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and The Thing, a team of marvelous superheroes that represented the strength of family bonds and the importance of using their powers responsibly to protect the world. In the first season, the episodes were faithful adaptations of classic 1960s Fantastic Four comic book stories by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. The season included storylines featuring the Silver Surfer, Galactus, and Doctor Doom, but received criticism for its cost-effective animation and attempts at humor. But the following season underwent significant changes, featuring improved animation, more mature writing, and shorter introductions by Stan Lee. The season drew inspiration from John Byrne's 1980s run on the Fantastic Four comic and introduced new characters such as Black Panther, the Inhumans, and Thor. Notably, the Four Freedoms Plaza even replaced the Baxter Building as the Fantastic Four's home base. The show's popularity at the time can be attributed to its faithful adaptations of beloved comic book stories, the inclusion of iconic characters, and the excitement of seeing the Fantastic Four come to life on television. The character's main purpose in the show is to showcase their unique powers, teamwork, and their continuous battle against formidable adversaries like Doctor Doom and Galactus. Overall, the show's exploration of classic Fantastic Four stories and its action-packed storytelling captivated audiences and solidified the team's place in popular culture. The Incredible Hulk 1996 This animated marvel brought to life the iconic character of the Hulk for a thrilling two-season run, leaving audiences craving for more gamma-infused action. The first season plunged viewers into the heart-pounding escapades of Dr. Bruce Banner, already on the run from the military as the Hulk. The series showcased his struggle to control the beast within while seeking a cure. Alongside loyal companions like Rick Jones and Betty Ross, Banner faced off against powerful antagonists like the Leader, the Gargoyle, and the Abomination. Each episode delved into the psychological turmoil of the tormented scientist, raising the stakes with every hulking transformation. In the first season, we saw Hulk being chased by the Ghost Rider and even seeking the Fantastic Four to help him get out when the leader and his Gamma Warriors attacked. Season 2 unleashed a smashing surprise by introducing She-Hulk as a regular co-star, which led the show to rebrand itself as the Incredible Hulk and She-Hulk, adding a captivating dynamic to the mix. Viewers were treated to thrilling adventures as Banner and She-Hulk journey together, battling the likes of Doctor Doom while teaming up with Doctor Strange. The second season embraced a blend of action, humor, and even a touch of romance, showcasing the incredible power and determination of these gamma-infused heroes. What catapulted these shows to soaring popularity was the timeless allure of Marvel superheroes. The Incredible Hulk series captured imaginations with its compelling exploration of the Hulk's inner struggle, juxtaposing the human frailty of Bruce Banner with the unstoppable might of his alter ego. Audiences were drawn to the intense battles, heart-pounding adventures, and the underlying message of resilience and self-acceptance. The Silver Surfer, 1998. Through its captivating plot, brooding atmosphere, and thought-provoking themes, the Silver Surfer series captivated audiences, offering a unique exploration of the cosmic side of the Marvel Universe. The character's main purpose in the show was to navigate the delicate balance between his newfound freedom and his desire for redemption, all while searching for his lost home and love. The story revolves around Norin Rad, a native of Zen La, who offers himself to Galactus in exchange for the protection of his planet. Transformed into the Silver Surfer and granted cosmic powers, he becomes Galactus's herald, traversing the cosmos in search of suitable planets for consumption. However, the Surfer's memories and conscience are stripped away, leaving him plagued by the horrors he commits under Galactus's control. Eventually, the Surfer breaks free and turns against his former master, vowing to right the wrongs he was forced to commit. His quest becomes twofold, to find his lost love, Shalabal, and to confront the atrocities of his past. The show's popularity stems from its mature and introspective approach, delving into existential themes and moral dilemmas. The series explores the consequences of power, redemption, and the search for identity. As the Silver Surfer journeys across the galaxy, he encounters a multitude of characters and worlds, each with their own struggles and complexities. Avengers Assemble 2012. Avengers Assemble gained popularity as a successor to the Avengers, Earth Mightiest Heroes, and aimed to capitalize on the success of the 2012 film, The Avengers. The main theme of Avengers Assemble revolves around the world-saving adventures of Earth's mightiest heroes. The core Avengers team comprises Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye, with Falcon joining as the newest member. From confronting Red Skull's alliance with MODOK in Season 1, to battling Ultron and the Cabal in Season 2 and 3, the Avengers must overcome personal struggles, confront powerful villains, 
and grapple with the consequences of their actions. Season 4 explores alternate realities and the impact of tampering with time and space, while Season 5 focuses on Black Panther's quest to stop the Shadow Council. The series explores the challenges faced by the Avengers as they navigate personal struggles, teamwork dynamics, and the consequences of their actions. Avengers Assemble gained popularity due to its action-packed storytelling, vibrant animation, and the successful synergy with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It captured the essence of the beloved comic book characters and appealed to both long-time fans and new audiences. The show's success can also be attributed to the fact that, after the 2012 film, the fans needed more screen-time action with the exploration of moral dilemmas faced by the heroes. X-Men Evolution 2000. X-Men Evolution delves into the adventures of iconic X-Men characters by following a group of teenage mutants attending Bayville High School, concealing their powers while facing the trials and tribulations of adolescence. The main X-Men team consists of Professor Charles Xavier, the wise mentor guiding young mutants toward a peaceful existence, Wolverine, the gruff and tough member with a mysterious past, Storm, the weather-controlling mutant with a calm demeanor, Cyclops, the team's field leader who struggles with the weight of responsibility, Jean Grey, a powerful telepath, and Cyclops' love interest, Nightcrawler, a compassionate and acrobatic mutant with a unique appearance, Shadowcat, a phasing mutant who provides intelligence and agility to the team, Rogue, a conflicted mutant who absorbs powers and memories through touch, and Beast, the intellectual and acrobatic mutant possessing superhuman strength and agility. As the series progresses, they face various challenges, including battling the Brotherhood of Evil mutants led by Magneto. The second season introduces the new mutants, expanding the roster of young mutants, while the third season explores darker storylines and features the Phoenix Force as a main villain. The fourth season focuses on the X-Men's fight against a Apocalypse and his four horsemen. The show's popularity stems from its engaging storytelling, exploring the complexities of mutant existence and the struggles faced by teenagers coming to terms with their powers. It skillfully blends action-packed superhero battles with relatable themes of identity, friendship, and acceptance, resonating with both comic book enthusiasts and newcomers to the X-Men universe. Spider-Man Unlimited 1999. Spider-Man Unlimited served as a loose sequel to the previous Spider-Man, the animated series. Here, Peter Parker travels to Counter-Earth after being blamed for losing contact with John Jameson, who went on a solo space mission. On Counter-Earth, Peter discovers a society where bestials, hybrids of humans and animals, are dominant and humans are second-class citizens. Teaming up with Jameson and a group of freedom fighters, Peter assumes the mantle of Spider-Man once again to fight against the High Evolutionary, the ruler of Counter-Earth, and his allies. Throughout the series, Spider-Man battles bestial versions of his rogues gallery, as well as Venom and Carnage, who are under the control of the Synoptic, a legion of symbiotes on Counter-Earth. The exploration of our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in a new and unfamiliar setting provided the fans with a fresh take on the Spider-Man mythos. Peter Parker served as the heroic protagonist and navigated the complexities of the plot by leading the fight against the high evolutionaries, twisted forces, and protecting the rights of humans. Even John Jameson played a crucial role as a key ally in the Resistance movement, while villains like Venom, Carnage, Green Goblin, Vulture, Craven the Hunter, and Electro posed as powerful threats to Spider-Man and his cause. The series weaved together action, adventure, and social commentary, capturing the spirit of Spider-Man while exploring new and exciting storylines. Avengers United They Stand 1999 The Avengers United They Stand revolves around a team based on the West Coast Avengers roster, led by Ant-Man, Giant-Man, and including the Wasp, Tigra, Wonder Man, Hawkeye, Falcon, Scarlet Witch, and Vision. The series explores their adventures as they face off against major Avengers villains such as Kang the Conqueror, Ultron, Egghead, the Zodiac, and the Masters of Evil. Despite not being considered as the best works when it comes to Marvel animated series, the show still generated interest due to its association with the Avengers brand and the curiosity of fans wanting to see the team in action. In the series, the character's main purpose was to protect the world from various threats and to showcase their unique powers and abilities. Each member of the team brought their own skills and personality to the table, allowing for diverse storytelling and dynamic interactions between the characters. The show also made references to the character's comic book history, offering fan-friendly nods to their partnerships, disabilities, and backstories. Although the series deviates from the comic book source material in terms of character design and certain story elements, it still captures the essence of the Avengers as a team of superheroes fighting for justice and defending humanity against evil to protect the world.
Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes, 2006. Making a comeback again with the same team? This Fantastic Four series incorporates a mix of 2D and 3D animation, blending classic comic book elements with an anime-inspired visual style. Each episode presents a self-contained adventure of Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and The Thing, allowing viewers to enjoy the show without having to follow a strict narrative arc. The series captures the essence of the Fantastic Four team by exploring their unique family dynamic and showcasing their superpowers. The characters' interactions such as the playful rivalry between Johnny and Ben, and the integral role of Susan as the team's glue, contribute to the show's humour and charm. World's Greatest Hero strikes a balance between staying faithful to the original comic book concepts and introducing its own take on the characters and storylines. The show's design choices, including exaggerated proportions and distinctive costumes, contribute to its pulpy superhero tone. While the series was cut short and didn't delve into certain iconic Fantastic Four storylines and characters, it still managed to capture the spirit and essence of Marvel's first family. During its time, the show appealed to both longtime fans and newcomers to the franchise, it provided an entry point for those unfamiliar with the Fantastic Four while offering enjoyable stories and characterizations for those already familiar with the comics. World's Greatest Hero stands as an underrated adaptation that successfully portrays the core elements of the Fantastic Four and highlights their significance in the Marvel Universe. Spider-Man 2003 Spider-Man, the new animated series, is a one-season animated superhero television series that serves as a loose continuation of Sam Raimi's 2002 film Spider-Man and draws inspiration from the Ultimate Spider-Man comic books by Brian Michael Bendis. The show documents Peter Parker, Mary Jane Watson and Harry Osborn as they attend Empire State University. Peter and Mary Jane struggle to establish a romantic relationship while Peter's responsibilities as Spider-Man, as well as his involvement with Indira Daimonji, create obstacles. Meanwhile, Harry harbors deep resentment towards Spider-Man, whom he blames for his father's death. Throughout the series, Peter faces a variety of villains, including the Lizard, Craven the Hunter, and Electro, all while balancing his studies and maintaining a job. The show primarily revolves around the challenges Peter faces as he tries to balance his personal life, superhero duties, and relationships. The series explores Peter's struggle to reconcile his responsibilities as Spider-Man with his desire for a normal life. The character dynamics between Peter, Mary Jane, and Harry provide emotional depth and drive the plot forward. The show delves into themes of love, loss, and the consequences of one's actions. Ultimately, the series introduces two psychic twins who disrupt Peter's life to such an extent that he decides to give up being Spider-Man and pursue a normal existence. This decision highlights the show's exploration of the consequences and sacrifices that come with being a superhero, as predicted by the Green Goblin at the end of the 2002 Spider-Man film. Wolverine and the X-Men 2008 Wolverine and the X-Men follows Wolverine as he takes on the leadership role of the X-Men after Professor Charles Xavier and Jean Grey disappear following a mysterious explosion at the Xavier Institute. The series centers on Wolverine's efforts to reunite and lead the X-Men once again, facing various challenges and threats along the way. In the first season, Wolverine, with the help of Beast, endeavors to bring the disbanded X-Men back together after a year of separation. The mutant registration division known as MRD is capturing mutants, causing Wolverine and his allies to re-establish the team to protect mutant kind. Rogue, manipulated by the Brotherhood of Mutants, initially joins the Dark Side but later rejoins the X-Men. The main storyline revolves around Wolverine's attempt to prevent a future war led by Master Mold and the Sentinels, as foreseen by Professor Xavier. Throughout the season, Wolverine and his team face numerous obstacles, confront old and new villains, and search for missing X-Men members, including Jean Grey. The storyline explores Wolverine's visions of the past, his complex history with Sabretooth, and the mystery surrounding his origins. Meanwhile, Cyclops, played by memories of Jean, seeks answers about her fate, leading him to encounter Mr. Sinister. The series highlights the resilience and unity of the X-Men, as they protect mutant rights and battle against forces seeking to harm or control them. Other important characters include Storm, Nightcrawler, Emma Frost, Beast, Cyclops, and Rogue, each with their own struggles and contributions to the team's mission. It explores the personal sacrifices and moral dilemmas faced by the characters, showcasing their growth and development as they strive to create a better world. Iron Man Armored Adventures 2008 Iron Man Armored Adventures is a 3D CGI animated series that follows a young Tony Stark as he transforms into Iron Man. The first season focuses on Tony's search for the McLuhan Rings, working alongside his friends James Rodney Rhodes and Pepper Potts. They face off against various villains, including Gene Khan, who betrays them to obtain the rings. The season also delves into Tony's feud with Obadiah Stane and his ongoing struggle to balance his responsibilities as Iron Man with his teenage life. Now. The second season introduces new characters like Black Widow, Hawkeye, Doctor Doom, Magneto, and Justin Hammer. It explores storylines such as the Armor Wars, 
where Tony and Rhodey combat individuals who have stolen Stark's armor technology, and the Stain International arc, where Tony and his allies fight against Justin Hammer's weaponization of Stark International. Throughout both seasons, Tony's main purpose is to protect the world using his advanced technology as Iron Man. He's driven by a desire to make up for his father's mistakes and ensure that his inventions are not used for evil purposes. Tony's intelligence, resourcefulness, and determination are instrumental in overcoming challenges and defeating villains. The show explores Tony's growth as a hero and his evolving relationship relationships with Rhodey and Pepper. It goes on to highlight the responsibility that comes with power and the importance of using it for the greater good. The Spectacular Spider-Man 2008 The Spectacular Spider-Man is the seventh animated series on the Spider-Man roster and focuses on the growth of Peter Parker, taking place during his high school years. In the first season, Peter must balance his responsibilities as Spider-Man with his personal life. He faces challenges such as romantic interests in Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane Watson, friendships with Harry Osborn and Eddie Brock, bullying from Flash Thompson and supporting his Aunt May. Peter also works as a lab assistant for Dr. Kurt Connors and faces scrutiny from J. Jonah Jameson, the owner of the Daily Bugle, who uses Peter's pictures of Spider-Man to discredit him. Meanwhile, the rise of crime boss Tombstone and his allies, including Norman Osborn and Otto Octavius, leads to the creation of various supercriminals who become Spider-Man's adversaries. He faces villains like Vulture, Electro, Lizard, Shocker, Sandman, Rhino, Dr. Octopus, Chameleon, and Black Cat. The emergence of the Green Goblin further complicates Spider-Man's battles. Additionally, Peter must confront the alien symbiote that takes control of his body and ultimately transforms Eddie Brock into Venom. In the second season, Peter's life becomes more complicated as he deals with romantic conflicts between Gwen Stacy and Liz Allen, with Mary Jane trying to help Gwen win Peter's affections. Norman Osborn becomes Peter's mentor, while new villains like Mysterio, Craven the Hunter, Tinkerer, Silver Sable, and Molten Man emerge. Returning villains include Venom, who seeks to expose Spider-Man's identity. A gang war erupts, and Spider-Man must confront the Green Goblin, who orchestrated the conflict to gain control of the city and destroy Spider-Man. The show primarily explores Peter's character development, his sense of responsibility, and the complex web of his interactions with friends, enemies, and his alter ego. Just smashing! <laughs> The Superhero Squad Show 2009 the Superhero Squad Show is a comedic animated series that parodies the Marvel characters in a super-deformed, cartoonish style. In the first season, the villainous Doctor Doom seeks the reality-bending power of the shattered Infinity Sword to achieve world domination. As a solution, Iron Man forms the Superhero Squad, consisting of himself, Falcon, Hulk, Silver Surfer, Thor, and Wolverine. The squad is aided by Captain America, Ms. Marvel, Reptile, and other superhero friends. They defend Superhero City from Doom's lethal legion, including Modok and Abomination, who reside in Villainville. In the final episodes, the Infinity Sword is reforged when Galactus threatens to devour Earth, and it's revealed that the sword can only be wielded by someone with the Infinity Gauntlet. In the second season of the show, the squad travels to different parts of the Marvel Universe, encountering various dimensions, galaxies, and time periods. Thanos becomes the main antagonist, seeking the six Infinity Gems and eventually acquiring it. In the second half of the season, a corrupted Silver Surfer steals the Infinity Gauntlet, becomes the Dark Surfer, and replaces Thanos as the main antagonist. The season concludes with the defeat of the Dark Surfer, the destruction of the Infinity Stones and Infinity Sword, and the restoration of normality. Overall, the main purpose of the characters was to provide comedic and light-hearted demeanor in their adventures while maintaining their iconic superhero roles, especially with such a strong incorporation of powerful antagonists. <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man 2012 this animated series started with Peter Parker already being a year into becoming Spider-Man and combined action, comedy, and elements of the Marvel Universe to provide an entertaining and light-hearted take on Spider-Man's adventures. In the first season, Peter is offered the opportunity to join S.H.I.E.L.D., where he forms a team called the Superhero Squad with Nova, White Tiger, Iron Fist, and Power Man. They face off against various villains, including Doctor Octopus and the Sinister Six, who are seeking to collect Spider-Man's DNA to create an army. The season concludes with the reveal of Norman Osborn as the Green Goblin. Now, for the second season, Spider-Man's team moves into Peter's house after the destruction of the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier. They encounter new villains and continue to battle the Sinister Six. This season mainly explores the origins of Peter's teammates and features the return of Norman Osborn, now reformed as Iron Patriot. It ends with the defeat of the Green Goblin and the restoration of the helicarrier. The third season led the show to be rebranded as Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors, where Spider-Man officially joined the Avengers, but later resigned to form the new Warriors, which recruited other young heroes to fight against 
against the Thunderbolts, led by Taskmaster. The season introduced the concept of the Spider-Verse, with Spider-Man traveling to alternate realities to defeat the evil Spider-Goblin. The fourth and final season was introduced as Ultimate Spider-Man, Man vs. the Sinister Six, where Dr. Octopus formed a new Sinister Six and recruited villains such as Kraven the Hunter and Electro. Spider-Man formed his own team, including Scarlet Spider, to stop them. The season featured the introduction of Agent Venom and the fight against Carnage, which later culminated in a battle against Dr. Octopus. Hulk and the Agents of Smash 2013 Hulk and the Agents of Smash presented itself as a show specifically created by Rick Jones to change the public's perception of Hulk as a monster and showcase his heroic actions. It starts with Hulk teaming up with his cousin She-Hulk, Red Hulk, A-Bomb and Scar as the Agents of Smash, with Vista Verde as their base, the town where Bruce Banner first transformed into the Hulk. They faced various threats and villains while dealing with everyday family-sized problems. Throughout the season, their recurring nemesis is the leader, who holds the key to Scar's origin. In the second season, the Agents of Smash are being hunted by S.H.I.E.L.D. and the military after an incident caused by the leader's Agents of Crash. Once they prove their innocence, the team confronts the leader, who travels back in time to alter history and later faces an invasion led by the Supreme Intelligence and the Kree Armada, following the incarceration of Ronan the Accuser. The main theme of the show revolves around Hulk and his team working together to tackle larger-than-life threats while dealing with their personal lives and dynamics within the team. Marvel Disc Wars – The Avengers 2014 Marvel Disc Wars The Avengers is an anime television series produced by Toei Animation and the Walt Disney Company Japan based on the Marvel Comics universe. This series follows the story of Iron Man and Dr. Nozomu Akatsuki, who develop a device called the Digital Identity Securement Kit or DISCs to capture and detain villains. However, during a presentation of the DISC project on the raft, Loki appears as an antagonist and uses the DISCs to orchestrate a breakout, trapping Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor and Wasp inside the discs as well. Nozomu's sons, Akira and Hikaru, along with three other children named Edward, Chris and Jessica, come into possession of the discs and acquire biocodes that allow them to summon and control the trapped superheroes for a limited time. The group of children, along with the Avengers, embark on a worldwide journey to locate the scattered discs before they fall into the wrong hands, facing various challenges and encounters with both heroes and villains as they strive to protect the world from the misuse of the discs. So, if you want a break from the same American premise of the Avengers, try this one for a change of taste. Rocket and Groot 2017 This fun TV miniseries focuses on the adventures of Rocket Raccoon and Groot before they became members of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The show premiered on March 10th, 2017 on Disney XD and consists of one season with 12 episodes. Set before their time with the Guardians of the Galaxy, the series follows Rocket and Groot as bounty hunters who embark on a quest to earn enough credits to purchase a new ship. The dynamic duo takes on various challenges and bounties in their pursuit of the 3 million credits needed for their desired vessel. Throughout their thrilling and comedic Escapades, Rocket and Groot encounter a host of colorful characters and face unexpected obstacles that test their skills and friendship. The show explores their unique personalities, with Rocket's cunning and technical expertise complementing Groot's strength and simplicity. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 2015 Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy features the same main characters as the film franchise, but exists as a separate entity from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Throughout the series, the Guardians of the Galaxy, including Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Rocket Raccoon and Groot serve as the main characters. They're joined by supporting characters such as Howard the Duck, Mantis, and Adam Warlock to battle dangerous enemies, navigate cosmic adventures, and strive to safeguard the universe from threats that could endanger its existence. In the first season, the Guardians obtain the Spartaxian Crypto Cube, which holds a map leading to the powerful Cosmic Seed. Their main aim is to prevent the seed from falling into the hands of various villains, including Thanos, Ronin the Accuser, Nebula, and Starfather Jason. In the next season, we see the Guardians teaming up with the Avengers to face the High Evolutionary. They come across a mysterious sarcophagus found on Thanos' base, which eventually hatches into Adam Warlock. The Guardians, along with Mantis, seek to control and protect Adam Warlock while facing threats from Jason and the Magus. In the final season, titled Mission Breakout, the Guardians find themselves framed by the Collector and go on the run. They evade the Kree and work with Howard the Duck to save Hala and defeat the Collector. Later, they confront the Darkhawks, who are replacing members of the Galactic Council, and team up with Thanos and Loki to stop Serpent and protect the galaxy. Spider-Man 2017 This Spider-Man TV series follows the adventures of Peter Parker, a gifted teenager who gains superpowers after being bitten by a radioactive spider. 
The show explores Peter's journey as he balances his responsibilities as Spider-Man with his life as a student at Horizon High, a school for genius-level intellects. Throughout the series, Peter faces various villains and forms alliances with his classmates Gwen Stacy, Miles Morales, and Anya Corazon, as well as his best friend Harry Osborn, who eventually becomes the superhero Hobgoblin. In the first season, Peter grapples with the loss of his uncle Ben and learns to embrace his role as a superhero. He encounters familiar foes such as Norman Osborn, Dr. Octopus, Vulture and Venom while navigating his relationships with friends and mentors. The second season, on the other hand, delves deeper into Peter's personal growth as he faces challenges posed by Dr. Octopus and the Goblin Nation. Alongside his friends, he uncovers the existence of a secretive organization led by Adrian Toomes and forms a close-knit team of superheroes to combat their threats. The final season centers around the discovery of a conspiracy orchestrated by Norman Osborn. Spider-Man, along with his spider team, confronts Venom and the Clintar invasion while trying to clear Max Modell's name. The season showcases the resilience and determination of the characters as they strive to protect the Earth and rebuild their school. Edge of Venomverse 2017. This is a highly underrated miniseries which only spanned five episodes to indirectly advertise the Venomverse comic series. It's a faithful adaptation of its comic book arc of the same name and follows Venom who gets sucked into an alternate universe where he's forced to confront bizarre entities called Poisons who are desperately trying to absorb the Clintar, who are alien symbiotes similar to Venom. Throughout the series, Venom and his symbiote allies engage in epic battles against the Poisons, protecting the Clintar and the Marvel Universe from their destructive plans. The story explores exciting matchups and presents a mind-thwarting dynamic. Whatever's happening, it's working. Ant Man 2017. Airing on Disney XD, Marvel's Ant Man only ran for six episodes and was based on the Marvel Comics character Scott Lang, who took on the mantle of Ant Man. Created by Ugo Bionvenu and Kevin Manak of Passion Studios, the series featured the voices of Josh Keaton as Ant Man and Melissa Rao as the Wasp. The storyline followed Scott Lang as Ant Man as he battled against various adversaries. His foes included Yellow Jacket, Whirlwind, Egghead, and even miniature alien invasions. Throughout his adventures, Scott received assistance from his partner, the Wasp, and his mentor, Hank Pym. This animated show delves into the action-packed confrontations between Ant-Man and his enemies, highlighting his unique abilities to shrink in size and communicate with ants. Three. The Avengers vs. AIM 2007. The Avengers vs. AIM is a two-episode CG miniseries that aired on Marvel's YouTube channel, Marvel HQ, and centered around a giant robot called Ultimo. Created by the organization AIM, goes on a destructive rampage in New York City. In the first episode, Spider-Man saves a child from being crushed by Ultimo and engages the robot in battle. Realizing he needs assistance, Spider-Man contacts Tony Stark, who quickly suits up and joins the fight. In the second episode, Iron Man arrives to aid Spider-Man in battling Ultimo. They use their respective powers and technology to combat the robot. Iron Man freezes Ultimo's arm, while Ultimo retaliates with fire and physical attacks, but Iron Man ultimately defeats Ultimo. However, they discover a thermonuclear bomb hidden within Ultimo, prompting Iron Man to lift the robot into space, sacrificing himself to ensure the bomb's safe detonation. Hulk comes to the rescue, catching Iron Man as he falls back to Earth. Together, Hulk and Iron Man face two more Ultimo robots. Hulk takes on one of them, while Iron Man uses his repulsor beams to defeat the other. The miniseries concludes with Hulk and Iron Man posing triumphantly on top of Ultimo, symbolizing the Avengers' victory. Overall, this is a pretty hearty watch and deserves a good amount of hype on its own. Dark Prince of Thunder, Thor, the Rampaging Monster! Marvel Future Avengers 2017 This Japanese superhero anime television series explores the story of Makoto, Adi, and Chloe, three teenagers who have been raised by Hydra under the false belief that they're being trained to become superheroes, with the Avengers depicted as villains. In reality, they've been genetically modified by Hydra, each possessing unique superhuman abilities, air manipulation, technology control, and shape-shifting. However, as Adi and Chloe become aware of Hydra's evil intentions, they decide to defect, and Makoto, the only one to successfully escape, seeks help from Tony Stark, who brings in the Avengers. Together with Makoto's assistance, they defeat Hydra and liberate Adi and Chloe. Recognizing their potential, the Avengers take the three teenagers in and train them as the future Avengers. As they continue their training, the Avengers also investigate the Emerald Rain project, orchestrated by Hydra and the Masters of Evil, aiming to uncover its connection to Makoto. The situation becomes more complicated when Bruno, Makoto's best friend, and another genetically modified individual is manipulated into joining the Masters of Evil. 
In the second season, the emergence of Terrigan Mist leads to the development of superpowers in humans. With rising anti-inhuman sentiments and the inhuman royal family seeking custody of those affected, the Avengers and future Avengers, now including Bruno, navigate the aftermath of the outbreak to broker peace between Earth and Atalan, the inhuman city, before the situation escalates into war. The series explores their growth as individuals and as a team, while facing internal conflicts and external threats. Together, they work to protect the world from Hydra, the masters of evil, and the potential chaos brought forth by the emergence of superpowers. Hulk smash! You can't smash your way out of every problem. Marvel Superhero Adventures 2017. This animated series mainly targeted the preschooler audience, featuring Spider Man teaming up with various Marvel heroes to teach valuable lessons about friendship, cooperation, and heroism. The show consists of four seasons, and each episode follows a formulaic structure. It begins with Spider Man addressing the viewers, discussing a challenge or conflict he's facing, or witnessing kids arguing. He imparts the lesson of the episode and recalls an adventure with another Marvel superhero, where they tackle a problem together. The flashback shifts to the heroes utilizing their powers and facing a villain's mischief. The episode concludes with Spider-Man applying the lesson learned to resolve the initial problem or help the kids find a solution. While the series avoids intense violence, it incorporates action as the heroes employ their powers to overcome obstacles. Each episode not only imparts a moral lesson, but also features enjoyable adventures. The show highlights mainstream heroes such as Iron Man, Captain America, The Hulk, and Black Panther, along with other spider heroes like Miles Morales and Ghost Spider. The main theme of Marvel superhero adventure centers on instilling positive values and life lessons in young viewers, emphasizing the importance of teamwork, empathy, and using one's abilities you guys for good. From SFIT, we can really step up our game. People, welcome to Phase 3. Big Hero 6, the series, 2017. Big Hero 6, the series, is a continuation of the events from the film Big Hero 6, following the adventures of 14-year-old tech prodigy Hero Hamada and his lovable robot companion Baymax. Alongside their friends Wasabi, Honeylemon, Gogo, and Fred, they form the superhero team known as Big Hero 6. In the first season, Hero and his friends face academic challenges as they navigate life at the San Francisco Institute of Technology while balancing their superhero duties. They encounter new villains and embark on high-tech adventures to safeguard their city. Their heroic journey continues in the second season, with the team facing more formidable adversaries and uncovering deeper secrets within San Francisco. The third season features shorter 11-minute episodes and showcases the ongoing exploits of Big Hero 6 as they tackle new threats and navigate personal growth. The main theme of this show centers around teamwork, heroism, and the power of friendship. Hiro's purpose in the show is to utilize his technological expertise to lead the team and protect San Francisco. The third season Season features shorter 11-minute episodes, Baymax serves as the lovable and compassionate robot companion, providing emotional support and utilizing his medical capabilities to assist the team. Wasabi brings his precision and skills in martial arts, while Honeylemon uses her chemistry knowledge to create powerful chemical compounds. Gogo contributes her athleticism and skills as a mechanical engineering prodigy, while Fred adds his enthusiasm and fanboy knowledge of superheroes. Together, they face challenges, strengthen their bonds, and evolve as a team of young heroes dedicated to safeguarding their city. Who am I in? No, that's not right. In whom be Modok? Modok 2021. Marvel's Modok presents a unique blend of dark humor, introspection, and comic book inspired storytelling. The show delves into Modok's journey of self discovery and explores themes of ambition, family dynamics, and the pursuit of happiness. With its stop motion animation provided by Stupid Buddy Studios and the stellar voice acting performances, particularly from Patton Oswalt, the series offers an entertaining and offbeat take on the Marvel Universe. This 10 episode adult animated television series maps the life of the titular character, Modok, aka Mental organism designed only for killing. Created by Jordan Blum and Patton Oswalt, the show explores the struggles of this supervillain as he grapples with both his personal life and professional endeavors. Modoc, portrayed by Oswalt, finds himself facing a series of challenges after being ousted from his company AIM, which has been sold to the rival corporation Grumble. As he tries to regain control of his life and cope with the midlife crisis, Modoc must navigate the complexities of his dysfunctional family. Balancing his responsibilities as a husband to his wife Jody and a father to his children Melissa and Lou, the series delves into Modoc's attempts to reclaim his position of power while dealing with the day to day challenges of being a supervillain and a family man. Along the way, he encounters various Marvel characters and faces the consequences of his actions as he strives for dominance and control. Spidey and his amazing friends. 2021. Spidey and His Amazing Friends is a computer animated TV series that introduces young viewers to the Marvel Universe. The series centers around the adventures of three young heroes, Peter Parker, 
also known as Spidey, Miles Morales, who goes by the superhero name Spin, and Gwen Stacy, who takes on the persona of Ghost Spider. Together, they form a dynamic team, using their unique abilities to protect their city from various villains, including Rhino, Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Electro, Sandman, and Black Cat. Throughout the series, Spidey, Ghost Spider, and Spin encounter thrilling challenges and learn valuable lessons about teamwork, friendship, and the importance of using their powers responsibly. They also receive assistance from other beloved Marvel superheroes such as Ms. Marvel, Black Panther, Hulk, Ant-Man, Iron Man, Wasp, and Reptile, who join forces with them to defeat the forces of evil. With its vibrant animation style and engaging storytelling, each season of the series offers an alluring idea of the Marvel Universe for children. I want him erased from the face of the goddamn Earth. Hit Monkey 2021. The American adult animated television series follows the story of Hit Monkey, a Japanese macaque seeking revenge in Tokyo's crime underworld. Mentored by the ghost of an American assassin named Bryce Fowler, Hit Monkey becomes known as the Killer of Killers. Together, they embark on a quest to eliminate the criminals plaguing the city. As the macaque's journey progresses, they encounter various challenges and adversaries, showcasing intense action scenes and exploring the dark and gritty world of organized crime. The series delves deeper when Hit Monkey and Bryce transition their quest to New York City, further exploring their character development, motivations, and the complexities of their vigilante lifestyle. With each episode, viewers witness the macaques' evolution as they navigate the treacherous landscape of justice and vengeance. <sighs> Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur 2023. Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is an animated television series based on the Marvel Comics characters of the same names and follows the adventures of Lunella Lafayette, a 13-year-old genius and her dinosaur companion, Devil Dinosaur. In the series, Lunella Lafayette, living in the Lower East Side of New York City, discovers a portal and inadvertently brings a red Tyrannosaurus Rex named Devil Dinosaur into the present day. With the help of her friend Casey, Lunella takes on the mantle of Moon Girl and forms a unique superhero duo with Devil Dinosaur. Together, they use their combined abilities and intellect to protect the Lower East Side from various threats and dangers. The show explores Lunella's journey as a young superhero and the challenges she faces while balancing her secret identity with her everyday life. Lunella's intellect and resourcefulness are key components of her superhero persona, as she uses her scientific knowledge and problem-solving skills to overcome obstacles and protect her community. Us, Dingo. We'll make sure we can. X-Men Pride of the X-Men 1989 X-Men Pride of the X-Men follows the X-Men's nemesis Magneto, who's freed from his captivity by the White Queen a member of his brotherhood of mutant terrorists. Meanwhile, a young mutant named Kitty Pride arrives at Professor Xavier's school to receive training. The X-Men, consisting of Cyclops, Colossus, Dazzler, Nightcrawler, Storm, and Wolverine, are introduced to Kitty and face their first challenge when Magneto sends his henchmen, Pyro and Blob, to retrieve coordinates for an approaching comet. As the X-Men confront Blob and Pyro, Magneto and his ally Juggernaut invade the X-Mansion to steal Cerebro's mutant power circuit. The X-Men return to find the mansion destroyed and Professor Xavier and Kitty unconscious. They learn that Magneto plans to redirect the Scorpio comet toward Earth, causing an ice age that would weaken humans and allow mutants to dominate. The crew travel to Magneto's asteroid M while instructing Kitty to stay behind due to her lack of training. Upon reaching Asteroid M, each X-Man faces their own challenge, with Nightcrawler ultimately confronting Magneto as the comet approaches Earth. Kitty, who secretly boarded the Blackbird, emerges to help Nightcrawler redirect the comet's course toward Asteroid M. In the end, Nightcrawler sacrifices himself to complete the task, but miraculously survives. The X-Men work together to protect the world from Magneto's destructive plans, while also grappling with internal conflicts and prejudices. The show highlights the growth and development of the characters, emphasizing the importance of unity and heroism in the face of adversity. Strongest man on Earth, I am the Marvel Superheroes 1966 The Marvel Superheroes is an animated television series that debuted in 1966, making the first TV series based on Marvel characters and featured five segments, each starring a different comic book superhero. Captain America, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, The Mighty Thor, and The Submariner. The show followed a format of three seven-minute segments in a half-hour program, with each segment showcasing a different superhero's adventures. The stories were directly lifted from the Silver Age of comic books, staying true to the original comic book material. While most of the stories remained faithful to the comics, a few were modified to exclude certain characters or to provide closure to ongoing storylines. Captain America focused on the patriotic hero's battles against villains like the Red Skull and Baron Zemo. The Incredible Hulk depicted the struggle of Bruce Banner as he transformed into the Hulk, dealing with his uncontrollable rage and fighting against various adversaries. 
Iron Man showcased the high-tech adventures of Tony Stark and his armored alter ego as he battled enemies like the Mandarin and Crimson Dynamo. The mighty Thor followed the Norse God of Thunder as he defended Earth from mythical foes like Loki and the Enchantress. The Submariner delved into the underwater adventures of Prince Namor, the Submariner, as he protected Atlantis from threats above and below the sea. Each segment allowed viewers to delve into the world of a different superhero and witness their heroic exploits against various villains and challenges, showcasing the rich and diverse Marvel Universe. Starring Reed Richards, Sue Richards, Johnny Storm, Ben Grimm. Fantastic Four 1967. The Fantastic Four is the second Marvel Comics animated series that closely followed the adventures of the iconic superhero team, adapting stories directly from the comic book series created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. The series revolved around the superhero family, the Fantastic Four, consisting of the good old Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch, Invisible Woman, and The Thing. Together, they used their extraordinary powers to protect Earth from various threats and villains, including their arch-nemesis, Doctor Doom. Similar to the Marvel superheroes, the episodes of the Fantastic Four were faithful adaptations of the original comic book stories. However, due to certain rights limitations, some alterations were made. The character of Namor was replaced by Triton, and Alicia Masters was absent, with the Invisible Girl taking her place in a pivotal storyline involving the Silver Surfer and Galactus. Overall, it explored the dynamic relationships among the Fantastic Four members and their unwavering commitment to using their powers for the greater good. Spider-Man 1967 This was the first TV series based on the Spider-Man comic book series by Stan Lee and followed the adventures of teen Peter Parker, who gained incredible superpowers after being nipped by a radioactive spider. We get a front row seat to Peter's life working at the Daily Bugle under his editor J. Jonah Jameson. Here, Betty Brandt is his girlfriend and we see him follow his duty as Spider-Man. It showcases classic Spider-Man antagonists and features Stan Lee as the consultant of the story. But later, the focus shifts to cost-cutting measures. The episodes veer away from comic book villains and introduce lame, green-colored magical monsters. Throughout the series, Spider-Man faces a variety of super-powered adversaries, including Dr. Octopus, Mysterio, and the Green Goblin. Peter struggles with personal problems, family tragedies, and the challenges of youth are also central to the storyline. As a freelance photographer for the Daily Bugle, Peter deals with the criticism of his alter ego from J. Jonah Jameson. The series is particularly remembered for its iconic theme song, featuring the catchy phrase, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can, later becoming a beloved and enduring part of Spider-Man's pop culture legacy. One little jar and... The Fantastic Four, 1978. Popularly known as the New Fantastic Four, this was the second animated series based on the superhero team, following a 1967 series and featured the iconic superhero team of Reed Richards, Susan Storm, Ben Grimm, and their robot companion, Herbie. In this version, the Human Torch was replaced by Herbie due to the television rights to the character being tied up by a proposed pilot movie that was never produced. The Fantastic Four gain their superhuman abilities after being exposed to cosmic radiation. Together, they use their unique powers and intellect to fight crime and protect the world from various threats. Whether battling against powerful supervillains or defending Earth from cosmic dangers, the Fantastic Four proved to be a formidable team. The series showcased the dynamic relationships and camaraderie among the team members as they faced exciting adventures and encountered both familiar and new adversaries. Spider-Woman 1979 Spider-Woman maps the story of Jessica Drew who, as a child, was bitten by a venomous spider. Her father, Dr. Alex Drew, saved her life by injecting her with an experimental spider serum that granted her superhuman powers. As an adult, Jessica works as the editor of Justice magazine, where she's joined by photographer Jeff Hunt and her teenage nephew, Billy. When trouble arises, Jessica transforms into her alter ego, Spider-Woman, a crime-stopping superhero with incredible abilities. As Spider-Woman, she uses her powers to fight against various threats and protect the innocent. Jessica's dual life as a magazine editor and a superhero adds complexity to her character as she balances her personal and professional responsibilities with her crime-fighting duties. The series explores Jessica's adventures as she battles villains and encounters dangerous situations. Along the way, she learns more about her own powers and confronts the challenges that come with being a superhero. Neighborhood web spinner. You apparently do not understand Spider-Man. Spider-Man, 1981. 
This was the second series centered around the iconic Marvel character after the original Spider-Man series and followed the life of Peter Parker, who must navigate the challenges of being a university student, a part-time photographer for the Daily Bugle, and a crime-fighting superhero. Throughout the series, Peter grapples with the dual nature of his existence, constantly striving to balance his responsibilities and personal life. He faces the pressures of his studies, the demands of his job, and the duty to protect the innocent as Spider-Man. Additionally, Peter is entrusted with the care of his elderly Aunt May Parker, adding another layer of responsibility to his already busy life. Spider-Man also finds himself facing off against the formidable Doctor Doom in several episodes. These encounters test Spider-Man's skills and resourcefulness, pushing him to his limits as he tries to thwart the plans of this powerful supervillain. This'll do it once and for all! Ah! I'm too Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, 1981. As the third series to feature the character Spider-Man, this show revolves around the adventures of Spider-Man, Firestar, and Iceman, who join forces as the Spider-Friends to combat the forces of evil. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends is considered a crossover series connected to the 1981 Spider-Man series. The main characters include the established Marvel Comics hero Spider-Man and Iceman, along with an original character, Firestar. The trio are college students at the Empire State University. After successfully thwarting the Beetle and recovering a stolen power booster, they decide to become a permanent team known as the Spider-Friends and reside together in Peter's aunt's house, along with their adopted pet dog, Ms. Lion. Throughout the series, the Spider-Friends face off against various supervillains from the Marvel Universe by using their unique powers and abilities to protect the world from the forces of evil. The Incredible Hulk, 1982 The Incredible Hulk was part of a combined hour with Spider-Man and his amazing friends under the title The Incredible Hulk and the Amazing Spider-Man. Compared to the live-action series, this animated adaptation closely followed the Hulk comic books, including the origin of the Hulk, the supporting cast, the army base setting, the use of fantastical elements, and the Hulk's ability to speak. The series retained the name Bruce Banner for the Hulk's human identity, in line with the comics. The animated series served as a more faithful representation of the Hulk's story compared to its predecessor. It featured Dr. Bruce Banner's ongoing struggle to find a cure for his transformations into the Hulk, while also battling various monsters and villains. The series explored themes of redemption, inner conflict, and the consequences of scientific experiments gone wrong. Throughout the episodes, the Hulk clashed with the military, who aimed to capture and control him. As he confronted these challenges, the Hulk must use his immense strength and abilities to protect himself and those he cared about. Overall, the series delves into the psychological and emotional turmoil of Bruce Banner as he grapples with his dual nature and seeks a resolution to his condition. Fred and Barney Meet the Thing 1979 Fred and Barney Meet the Thing consisted of two segments, one featuring the characters from the Flintstones called The New Fred and Barney Show, and the other segment focused on a teenage boy named Benji Grimm, who could transform into The Thing. Although the series shared its name with the Marvel Comics character, it had little resemblance to the original character. Benji Grimm, the main protagonist, possessed the ability to transform into The Thing at will, using a set of magic rings. By uttering the phrase, Thing Ring, Do Your Thing, and putting the rings together, Benji transformed into a powerful rock-like creature. Despite the title suggesting a crossover with the Flintstones characters Fred and Barney, the two shows remained separate, with the only connection being the opening credits and segment bumpers. So, in case you're looking forward to it, Fred and Barney never actually interact with the Thing segments. Come out! The Black Panther is ready for you! Black Panther 2010 Black Panther followed T'Challa, who assumed the mantle of Black Panther after his father T'Chaka was assassinated. As the new Black Panther, T'Challa faced internal conflicts within the Wakandan royal court while seeking justice for his father's death. Unbeknownst to him, the primary antagonist Claw formed an alliance with villains including Juggernaut, Batroc the Leaper, the Russian Radioactive Man, and the Vatican Black Knight. Together, they aim to seize control of Wakanda. Black Panther delves into themes of power, responsibility, and honor as T'Challa grapples with the weight of his newfound role and navigates the complex dynamics of his kingdom. The series showcases the rich mythology and technological advancements of Wakanda, highlighting the nation's vibrant culture and its struggle to maintain its sovereignty. LEGO Marvel Avengers Climate Conundrum 2020 This LEGO-inspired miniseries featured LEGO-shaped Avengers crew to allure the kids toward a new take on their favorite superhero gang. After the advanced weather machine created by Tony Stark falls into the hands of AIM, Hawkeye and Black Widow embark on a thrilling mission to recover it. The duo finds themselves entangled in a high-octane pursuit through the bustling streets of New York City. 
Racing against time, Black Widow and Hawkeye navigate the city's sprawling landscape, using their unique skills and teamwork to outmaneuver their adversaries. As they engage in heart-pounding action sequences, they face formidable challenges and unexpected obstacles. Marvel Anime Iron Man 2010 Iron Man is an animated series that serves as the first installment of the show, consisting of 12 episodes. Directed by Yuzo Saito and featuring a story by Warren Ellis, the series follows the adventures of Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, who visits Japan and plans to establish a new arc reactor power station to unveil the Iron Man Dio, an advanced prototype armor intended to succeed him. However, things take a turn for the worse when the Iron Man Dio malfunctions and becomes uncontrollable. Tony, as Iron Man, confronts this threat along with the Zodiac organization, who are also involved in the chaos. During his mission, Iron Man forms an alliance with Captain Nagato Sakurai, an operative from the JSDF, who operates the Raymond Zero armor. Together, they face the challenges posed by the Zodiac and uncover surprising revelations, including the return of Tony's presumed dead friend, Ho Yinsen, who is now operating the Iron Man Dio armor for the Zodiac's nefarious purposes. With action-packed episodes and compelling character dynamics, Iron Man takes viewers on an exhilarating journey through the world of Marvel's armored superhero. Marvel Anime Wolverine 2011 Wolverine is the second installment of Marvel anime after Iron Man. The storyline revolves around Logan, aka Wolverine, as he embarks on a mission to rescue his beloved girlfriend Mariko Yoshida, who has been taken to Tokyo by her father, Shingen Yoshida, the leader of the Japanese crime syndicate Kuzuryu, and a supplier for the organization known as AIM, Shingen, who intends to force Mariko into a marriage with Hideki Kurohagi. Determined to save Mariko and defeat Shingen and Hideki, Wolverine confronts numerous adversaries throughout his journey. The series explores themes of love, honor, and loyalty as Wolverine navigates the treacherous underworld of Tokyo to reunite with Mariko. Along the way, he faces formidable opponents and confronts the complexities of his own past. Marvel Anime X-Men 2011 As the third installment in the Marvel Anime roster, the show featured the X-Men crew reassembling after the tragic death of Jean Grey, who had fallen under the control of the Dark Phoenix. Under the guidance of Professor X, the X-Men traveled to Japan to investigate the abduction of armor and confront the U-Men, a group targeting young mutants to harvest their organs. As they battle the U-Men, the X-Men discover the existence of the Damon Hall Syndrome a condition causing complications during mutant second mutations. In addition to their ongoing fight against the U-Men, the X-Men find themselves entangled in the schemes of the Inner Circle. With high-stakes conflicts and moral dilemmas, the series delves into themes of identity, discrimination, and the complexities of mutant existence. Marvel Anime Blade 2011 Blade is the final installment of the Marvel Anime TV series and follows the tale of Blade, a vampire hunter known as a daywalker due to his unique heritage, being born with both human and vampire blood after a vampire attacked his mother. Blade travels to Japan on a mission to confront Deacon Frost, the vampire responsible for his mother's death. However, he soon discovers a secretive vampire organization called Existence and finds himself entangled in a deadly battle against their forces. As Blade fights to avenge his mother and protect humanity from the vampire threat, he confronts his own inner demons and makes difficult choices in the face of darkness and danger. The series explores themes of identity, vengeance, and the struggle between humanity and the supernatural world. Another good way to refuse drugs is to say you have something else to do. But whatever you do... Spider-Man Safety Series, 1990 Okay, so this one is a bit different from your conventional animated series. The Spider-Man Safety Series is a collection of educational animated videos released in 1990 and includes four separate videotapes. Don't hide abuse, smart kids play it safe, what to do about drugs, and where do you go for help. Each tape is designed to be shown in elementary school classrooms, accompanied by a lesson plan for teachers. These videos address important topics such as physical abuse, safety rules, drug education, and seeking help. Spider-Man serves as the main character, guiding and teaching children through these educational lessons. The series aims to raise awareness, promote responsible decision-making, and encourage open communication with trusted adults. Marvel Battleworld Mystery of the Thanostones 2020 Marvel Battleworld Mystery of the Thanostones is a children's animated short series that follows a group of Marvel heroes, including Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Spider-Ham, Throg, 
and Groot, who find themselves stranded on an alien planet called Battleworld and work together to uncover Thanos' plans behind their arrival on this mysterious world. The plot revolves around Thanos using the powerful Thanos Stones to create Battleworld and trap various heroes and villains there, ensuring they can't interfere with his destructive plans for their respective planets. Iron Man and his team embark on a mission to understand Thanos' motives and seek allies to aid them in their fight against the Mad Titan. Along the way, they encounter challenges and face off against adversaries while uncovering the secrets of Battleworld. Additionally, the series introduces Loki as a scheming character who collaborates with Thanos, secretly seeking to obtain a mythical weapon known as the Twilight Sword. The heroes must navigate the complexities of their situation, including the potential betrayal of Loki, as they strive to protect the universe from the combined threat of Thanos and the potential unleashing of the Twilight Sword. While the show promotes the Marvel Battleworld collectible tabletop game, the focus remains on the heroes' adventures and their quest to save the day through light-hearted action and humor. The Untold Tales of the Eternals 2021. The Untold Tales of the Eternals is a series of animated shorts that serve as a tie-in to the Eternals film. The series is divided into two segments, Meet the Eternals and The Untold Tales of the Eternals, comprising a total of 16 episodes. In Meet the Eternals, each episode centers around an individual member of the Eternals, delving into their unique powers, distinct personalities, and the mission bestowed upon them by the Celestials. The Eternals' purpose is to safeguard humanity from the threat of the Deviants, showcasing the important role each Eternal plays in protecting the world. The episodes of The Untold Tales of the Eternals take audiences back to the past, exploring the adventures and experiences of the Eternals before the events depicted in the film. These episodes provide further insight into the rich history and backstories of the characters, expanding upon their journeys and adding depth to their roles in the Eternals' overarching narrative. The Fastest Midnight Suns Prequel Shorts 2022. Midnight Suns Prequel Short is an animated series that serves as a prequel to the video game Marvel's Midnight Suns and consists of five short videos available on the Marvel Entertainment YouTube channel. The prequel shorts explore the origins and backstories of key characters and their journey to form the core of the Midnight Suns. In the first prequel short, viewers discover the tragic events surrounding the birth of the game's protagonist, the Hunter. The second short focuses on magic showcasing her powerful abilities and her recruitment into the Midnight Suns by Scarlet Witch. Robbie Reyes, known as Ghost Rider, takes the spotlight in the third short, highlighting his unique abilities and his reluctant decision to join the team. The fourth short introduces Blade, the half-human, half-vampire hybrid, and sheds light on his history with Caretaker and his role within the Midnight Suns. The final short features Nico Minoru, the youngest member of the Midnight Suns, as she navigates her new role and forges friendships with her teammates. The prequel shorts offer insight into the formation of the Midnight Suns team and their shared purpose of opposing the formidable Lilith. They provide a glimpse into the characters' personal struggles, motivations, and the unique abilities they bring to the fight. Avengers Mech Strike 2021. This motion comic series maps the iconic Marvel superhero team as they face formidable challenges. When the villainous Thanos launches an attack on Earth, the Avengers, consisting of Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, and Black Panther, must don giant mech suits to protect the planet and its inhabitants. As the story progresses, Doctor Doom acquires the Eye of Doom, a powerful mystical artifact. With its dark magic, he transforms several supervillains into monstrous beings assembling an army to confront the Avengers. In a surprising turn of events, Doctor Strange utilizes the Eye of Agamotto to alter the Avengers' mech suits, granting them monstrous abilities to match their adversaries. However, the situation becomes dire when Doctor Doom captures Doctor Strange, preventing him from reversing the spell. Determined to rescue their comrade and halt Doctor Doom's nefarious plans, the Avengers embark on a daring mission to overcome numerous obstacles and confront their transformed allies to save Doctor Strange and thwart Doctor Doom's destructive ambitions. I am Groot. I am Groot, 2022. I am Groot maps the life of Groot between the events of Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The series follows the adventures of baby Groot as he grows up and gets into various mischievous situations. Each episode of I Am Groot features Baby Groot encountering new and unusual characters that lead him into trouble. The series showcases Baby Groot's experiences and interactions with the world around him as he navigates the galaxy. The first season of I Am Groot premiered with five animated shorts on Disney Plus as part of Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. These shorts highlight Baby Groot's milestones, such as taking his first steps, encountering tiny creatures called Gruns, and exploring the Eclectus Quadrant. Each episode brings humor, adventure, and heartwarming moments as Baby Groot learns and grows. Baymax 2022 
This superhero science fiction comedy is a spin-off of the animated film Big Hero 6 and follows the adventures of the lovable robot Baymax and his life outside of the superhero team as he works as a nurse, helping and assisting the people of San Francisco. The series explores his ongoing adventures and showcases his compassionate and caring nature as he encounters various individuals in need of assistance. The show maintains the humor, heart, and superhero elements that made Big Hero 6 popular. While providing a fresh perspective on Baymax's character, it delves into his interactions with the diverse residents of San Francisco and highlights the importance of kindness, empathy, and using one's abilities to make a positive impact on others. Without guns. Spider Geddon 2018. Spider Geddon web series served as a tie in to the Spider Geddon comic book limited series. The series features different episodes focusing on various characters from the Spider Man universe and their encounters with interdimensional threats. In one episode, Spider Man and White Widow track down the criminal Herman Schultz, who has taken on the identity of Shocker. They discover that Schultz is selling a dangerous weapon to a Nazi, leading to a confrontation where Shocker nearly defeats them. However, Spider Man uses his quick thinking to disable the weapon and defeat Shocker. At that moment, Spider UK from another dimension arrives and recruits Spider-Man to join the fight against the Inheritors, a powerful group threatening the multiverse. In another episode, Gwen Stacy, also known as Ghost Spider, juggles her responsibilities as a band member of the Mary Janes and a superhero. She comes across a crime in progress and successfully saves a woman from muggers. Soon after, she encounters Spider-Ham, who informs her about a crisis in another dimension. Together, they venture into a portal to join the fight. Late in the season, Spider-Man battles android duplicates of the Avengers, eventually discovering that Mysterio is behind the deception. After defeating Mysterio, Spider-Punk arrives from another dimension and seeks Spider-Man's assistance in saving the entire multiverse. They embark on a journey through a portal to confront the imminent threat. Spider-Geddon explores the concept of multiple dimensions and brings together various versions of Spider-Man to combat a common enemy. In conclusion, the Marvel animated series have provided fans with a diverse range of stories and characters brought to life through animation. From the early classics like Spider-Man and X-Men, to more recent offerings like Avengers Assemble and Guardians of the Galaxy, these shows have captivated audiences with their action-packed adventures and faithful adaptations of beloved comic book arcs. Each series has showcased the iconic heroes and villains of the Marvel Universe, highlighting their unique powers, complex personalities, and epic battles. With their engaging storytelling and dynamic animation, these Marvel animated series have become a cherished part of the superhero genre, entertaining generations of fans and solidifying Marvel's presence in the world of animation. So, with that, we finally come to the end of this video. Please don't forget to tell us about your favorite Marvel animated series from the list in the comment box below.